Hello Star Munchers, Max here, back playing Fate the Trader Soul with Miles and Rant. We're going to hop down to level 23 of the Outpost of Gerantia Dungeon. I already went ahead and grabbed the three quests that we're going to do this episode. We have Destroy Slagmog the Mud Tarrant and its Quicksand Tarrant minions on level 23. Man, there's so many Tarrant quests <laughs> for uh, Gerantia so far. And then there's Activate the Shrine of Kuhn the Betrayer on level 23 and Defend it from Waves of Monster Attacks. And then... We have destroy the shrine of Ranthane the Mangler. So we have to defend a shrine, destroy a shrine, and then beat a mud tarrant and return a belt. So we have to make sure to pick that up and not leave it. Unfortunately, we still have this awful, like, bucket for a helmet, but that's all I got right now after uh, that little mishap. Uh, I don't know how long it's been since, let's see... It's been two episodes since we found a uh, a lost item of swaths, so my guess is that there's not going to be one on level 23 because it's too soon. But I could be wrong. Yep, I'm wrong. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and take care of this level. We got mud terrans and quicksand terrans to look for. Pretty unmistakable. I'm not worried about missing them. All right, what do we got? And thing the mangler. Is this the one we're supposed to destroy? Yeah, it is. All right, I'm just gonna burn it. Yeah, I'm not worried. There we go. The quest is completed. Nice and easy. Elfame necklace. We don't need that. Oh, okay, that was a nice little contained dead end right near the entrance. That was pretty easy. I'll take that. Just, just to kick start this episode. All right, what else we got? Down this away. We'll see. Stamina Charm, Elite Voltaic Snail. Uh, I went back through the footage, and there's definitely, since even a little bit before, I think, episode uh, 70, there's been an influx in Elite Enemies, which, if this was our first, first rodeo, that might be a problem. But I am not worried about that one bit. I actually welcome that challenge because we know how to deal with elite enemies. The treasure room, which means that we should be careful. What do we got back here? All right, that's our quicksand tarrant. I think there's a couple of those that we need to... Man, there's so many bees everywhere. Bee legionnaire. Okay, good. Rant took care of him. Melanin marauder. Crystal Mace, that does not have any fun things about it. Necrotic Snail, don't like that. Uh, healing Charm, well, I will take that. Uh, can never have too many of those. All right, this is the one that we need to defend. Real quick, let's clear out any baddies that might be back here hiding. Mental Map Spell, you have been Elite Nettle Thorn, Elite Enemies That Poison You. Major Healing Charm, sweet. Jackpot. I originally just wanted to clear back here. In fact, I think I am going to go back before I... Considering that this back area is sort of contained, I don't want to get locked off from it and have to backtrack all the way, so I think I will take care of it while I'm here. I'm going to go ahead and summon... I'll summon some swords and some skeletons, I think. That's a, a good combo for this level of enemies that we're coming across here at level 23. Um, the Valkyrie are fun, but they definitely add a, uh, an element of, uh, chaos to the mix for sure. So we'll just take care of these simple units. Should be pretty easy to keep these guys at bay. I'm not worried about that really. Go. A whole minute. Oh boy. Yeah, these, I don't think these zombies are going to quite make it. I don't think they're going to be quite strong enough. I am curious, like, at what point do they start sending more powerful enemies to attack shrines? Because, I mean, we've seen firsthand that different shrines can summon more powerful things to defend it. But as far as attackers, I wonder if it stays as zombies and rats the entire time or not. I'm curious to find that out. You know, like, seven seconds left. Yeah, they're not even making a dent. How much damage would they have to do to this shrine to destroy it? Like, Quest is even when it seems like they're hitting it, I just don't see that uh, health bar go down at all. 
So it makes me think, like, the player would have to be really bad to let the shrine get destroyed. Like, you'd have to just walk away entirely, and there'd have to be, like, a ton of enemies <laughs> attacking it all at once in order for that to happen. Wear bull. You can sit down. All right, what do we got back here? Nothing. Awesome. And this is another one of those levels where it's not just that it's windy, it's that there's so much space in between the, the areas you can actually travel. Leather vest, we got some swords battling each other here. There's a clan soldier. Whoa, that's like a whole mess up there. Nautiloid squire. These nautiloids are no good, man. Are they commanding the Urza clan soldiers? That would explain a lot, actually. These nautiloids, they're corrupting the plants, and they are, maybe the Urza clan are some sort of a rogue group of, of those guys. That's a roach spawn. And of course, behind all this, you have the roach warlord, who I have no idea what that will look like. Oh, that was a little frog guy that poisoned me. I figured something, something along those lines. Thorn Tarrant. So there's Thorn Tarrants and there's Root Tarrants. That's another variation I wasn't aware of, but I guess it that is. All right, we don't need any of that stuff back there. So we should just be able to walk back up the area we were about to fill in before we took care of the shrine, and that would probably do it for this episode. Maybe we'll be able to buy a better helmet. I don't know yet. We'll see. Let's take care of this frog or toad or whatever. I'm going to have to put some of this stuff in. I'm just going to do that. There's Slagmog. I'm just going to spin kick. The quest there it is. I, almost, I completely forgot about that quest, honestly. All right, cool. That was everything. So we took care of that, that mess, that gross room. All right. Nothing. All right. Oh, no. We're going to go back around and finish that alley off because it doesn't connect. Well, that's a bummer. I'll have to go all the way back up here. Oh, well. At least that quest wasn't too bad. Do, do, do. Regardless of when this goes up, we're nearing episode 75 of this playthrough, which is really, really awesome um, for whoever may be watching it whenever. It's been super fun to record this, and my plan is to keep on going as per usual, and every 25 episodes I do a one-off. I'm still planning on doing that, um, obviously with quarantine and everything right now when this is being uploaded. Practically all the episodes uh, since, oh man, I've recorded a lot of episodes while in quarantine actually. So regardless of when this goes up, two weeks It'll be a two-week break, and then somewhere in between that two weeks, I will upload that one-off. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is, and I haven't lined up uh, a guest yet, but I'm working on that. But yeah, my plan is to play through episode 75, record that one-off, or I may just stockpile past episode 75, and then just put them in the correct upload order i mean with the quarantine and everything i got i got time to work on editing and recording episodes so i might as well stock up as much as i can so i don't have to worry about getting them uploaded every week i can stock up on them um but yeah after we'll learn more about that uh, once we hit episode 75 uh studded buckler i don't need that and you can take that i think i'm gonna give rant some of these healing charms maybe the lesser ones that will clear some space up in our inventory uh we only have four more uses in our book of town portals wait a second didn't you have an extra yeah he has an extra so i'm gonna go ahead and put that in there now because we're we're almost done with that let's return to town um get our rewards for the three quests that we did and then i am gonna check both of the suppliers to see if uh, there's any helmet that we could get that's better than 95. Obviously, it's not the worst thing in the world, but we used to have a little over 100. 
armor in helmet, and I don't like how this completely obscures Miles' face. Uh, and honestly, I don't think he prefers it, probably, because it's darker down in the dungeon and there's less visibility, so... Yeah, let's get healed up, actually, before I do anything else. Mm. Heal up, and let's talk to this guy. What do we got? Who boy. 168, gem delete helm of the planes. Requires 137 strength. We are currently at 130, and we get five points. Oh, shoot. Well, wait a second. Um, once we buy it, do we reap the benefits of having the uh, reduced item requirements? I think I might get this because we're not that far away from that. And 168 is better than the helmet we lost. And this one's at least like open faced. I don't know if I like the crazy like bat wing things coming off of it, but it is a very decent helmet. Uh, I think, well, we got these gloves, which I can just sell because I don't need them. And I don't need this, which is weak, and then we don't need that. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that. So yeah, we still need 137 strength, which is kind of a bummer. And I'm trying to think if there's any way to work around that. 22, 17, 119 requires renown of glorious. Wow. And this only requires rank of distinguished. Some of these items are just, they don't make any sense at all. Is there a shopkeep in the Temple of Fate? Wait a second. Is this where we're supposed to be taking? Statue of Durantia Hero. This is where we spoke this is where we're supposed to take the stuff. There's a sword. A curious button. Wait. Well, that's what it's for? So we just got these. So precious gems, plus ten electrical damage. That could be good. Reduced item requirements. Okay, so we got some precious stones. And then what is this? Burning Swath's Essence. Place on pet's icon or right-click feed the pet. Transforms pet into Burning Swath for 300 seconds. What is a Burning Swath? What even is that? So, Swath is a hero or was a hero and was a hero of Druantia but they aren't necessarily alive anymore they this is just a hero that went before us i guess and we just returned all of the items that belonged to that hero or were associated with that hero and we just got rewarded for that that's pretty cool if we put this on something that I don't really care about like the cape one thirty six <laughs> we probably should have looked for uh, a, a gemstone that does that even better I am I want to know what this does so bad now um I think I think we'll probably hold on to these, or we might sell some of them. But that means that we need to be on the lookout for other relics, I suppose. So how many dungeons are there exactly? This is like the entrance to the place. There's Druantia, and then there's Typhon. And then there's the Chamber of Trials. I think they each have their own quest, if I remember correctly. Master Quest. Destroy Chaos and his Lava Terran minions on level 33. Of what? Oh, the Temple of Fate. Town of Grove. No quests. Outpost of Durantia. Voldor the Roach Warlord on level 43. Chamber Trials. Destroy 
Gash Gog the Skeleton Knight on level 13. Level 13? How close are we to that one? We can't be far from level 13 in the Chamber of Trials. We're not. So we're almost done with the quest related to the Chamber of Trials. I wasn't even trying to do that. Wow. All right, here's here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to the outpost of Durantia. Let's end this episode. This was a strangely productive episode, I suppose. So we can go ahead and throw that in there. Uh, shoot. Uh, we'll throw that in there. Oh, we can't do that. Doggone it, Swath. We still can't get rid of this. Burning Swath. I want to find out what that is. Maybe... When we fight the Skeleton Knight, I'll give that to Rant. Um, dexterity bonus, we don't need that. Life stolen, don't need that. Plus two damage is not powerful. Ten damage to weapon when installed would be nice, but I don't think we have any slots open on our weapons. Life bonus, yeah. I think I might just throw these in here for now. Apparently, I can't get rid of that, which is kind of a bummer, but... Wow. Oh, we actually have an extra Book of Town Portals, too. <laughs> we'll have to save up and use that another time. So, I think that's going to do it for this episode, I think. Uh, but now we sort of have an idea about what the Chamber of Trials is all about. I figured that the quest for that place would have been much further down into the dungeon than just level 13. And the fact that we're almost there already is kind of insane. So, maybe I can explore that. Uh, maybe if the next episode that I record today goes really, really short... Maybe we'll get one of those weird little diamond-shaped episodes, uh, levels, I mean. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, I hope you, you enjoyed this episode. I hope you're enjoying the series as a whole. If you have any questions or comments about the series, please leave them down below. I'd love to read them. Uh, beyond that, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Mm -hmm.